In this video, we'll break down 2022 NFL draft prospect Cole Strange, an interior offensive lineman from Tennessee Chattanooga. Now, who is Cole Strange? Well, he's 6'5", 307 pounds with 33-inch arms. So good overall length, but maybe a little bit on the smaller side for your interior offensive lineman. He ranks 12th overall among all interior offensive linemen on my latest big board and 95th overall on the board. He played a lot of guard in college, uh, but recently tried to play center at the Senior Bowl, and we'll get into a little bit of that in the player breakdown. Now, Strange had an extended six-year stay in college, including five seasons as a starter. He had nearly 50 pounds to his frame since high school, and his playing strength has improved immensely uh, even over the past three years. However, Strange still looks lean for an NFL offensive lineman, and we saw him struggle to assert himself at the Senior Bowl, especially against powerhouses like UConn's Travis Jones, which he won't be facing every day in the NFL. Uh, there, but there will certainly be many instances where he is outclassed in terms of play strength in the NFL. The way it looked like at the Senior Bowl. In college, he has less of those moments, but again, he's playing against competition does not necessarily reflect the level of competition he played against at the Senior Bowl. Now, despite his build, Strange has a high variance in the results of the one-on-ones at the Senior Bowl, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, he rarely lost to the same defender twice in drill. While I took reps at center, I prefer he stayed at guard. Uh, I understand playing at center might mask some shorter arms uh, and some of the other things he's going to deal with that might be difficult for him at the pro level, such as his weight. But it also limits his opportunity to display his elite mobility and elite athleticism in the open field, which is something that I consider to be a bit of a trump card for him if we're looking at his overall draft profile. Uh, speaking of Stranger's elite mobility, he could turn into a weapon in an outside zone scheme. The former two-star recruit tested in the 90th percentile in the 40-yard dash, 99th percentile in the broad jump, 89th percentile in the three-cone, and 90th percentile in the 20-yard shuttle, and was in the 83rd percentile with a 1.73-second 10-yard split. He's a mover. <laughs> He's got the agility and enough power to target players on the move, whether it be linebackers, whether it be defensive backs on the outside, maybe defensive ends in some schemes. I think he has the ability to go out after those players, definitely land hits. I mean, he's not going to be out there struggling to find targets. He's going to be able to make contact and get a pretty significant amount of power driven into him because he's going to have that lead up. That he's going to perform stronger in those points of contact because he's going to have that lead up going into that. He's going to have the momentum going forward. And in those situa situations, he can take over. Uh, he does have extra strength in those areas. But again, I think just on a normal play by play basis, lining up against guys like Travis Jones, some of the stronger interior defensive linemen in the NFL, could be a bit of a problem for uh, Strange as of right now. Now, if he goes into the NFL and adds 10 pounds in the weight room and his agility does not get sapped away by adding that weight, then I think we're looking at a completely different situation because Strange, as it is right now, I like a lot on tape. I think he's going to be a third-round pick. But there are certainly things he needs to improve on from a physical standpoint. And Strange attacks defenders with powerful strikes. He's got good pop in his hands, but his footwork needs a little bit of reworking. Uh, his hands, which are usually an asset early in the play, can turn against him if he fails to adjust quickly enough mid-play, allowing defenders to kind of slip past him. Now, the consensus I've found across everyone who scouted Strange, including uh, my friends and people I've talked to in the past, Brandon, Brandon Thorne and Joe Marino, Brandon Thorne from the Bleed Tree Report, and Joe Marino from the Draft Network, who I've spoken to online, about a couple of players in the past, uh, is that Strange belongs somewhere late in the third round or early in the fourth round. I'm inclined to believe in the third round, uh, but I could see instances where he falls to the fourth round. And although I could see him, I could also see him rising to the middle of the third round, to be honest, uh, because I think he had a pretty strong pre job process if we look past the senior bowl. Because so initially, the, very early on in the senior bowl, like I said, the practices were not reflecting well for Strange, but it certainly overcame that later on. And there's certainly been mixed opinions on him going into this draft process, but I still hold firm a late third round selection is probably the best spot to get Cole Strange because he's a guy who year one will probably struggle a little bit and it's going to be more of a rotational player than a day one starter. But I think he's got a good projection going forward to be a year two starter and beyond. And that's really the role I envision for him in the NFL as a guard.